smoke in his face. He's going to try to challenge that regardless, and it's Stu to the back of the site. He's going to pick himself up the first kill. He tries to get another headshot, but suddenly all the targets disappear. They found cover, and they found a bit of timing to breathe, so they think. Fallen and Stu reapply with some pressure. They pick up those two kills, and this pistol is looking fantastic for the defense. Everybody's dead for the tease. The difference, look over towards Arch right now. He's so King's going one further. And if they can get past Stu, then that B site's open for the taking. Look at how cognizant Stu is of what's happening, though. With, with Arch being opened up, there's always the opportunity to grab him. Now he's going to have a lot of pressure put on him from a guy who can head peek. That's Tarek. Cold, Cold Zera. Zera gets pinched from both directions. Freeman. So Stu, with a couple of shots, could be able to kill them both, but he's been spotted from beneath, flying back rapidly. And in the meantime, the pistols will try their best to hold. So far, so good, until attacker gets through smoke and, oh, swapping the sidearms not fast enough. Stewie. Pressure on the opposite way. So brackets in question, but Tarek yet again from this position is going to find out an opening kill. That's, that's not the first time so far this half. That's true, and it's because that tag team, that little bit of presence of Cold Zera, just alley oops Tarek and from a very big spot and he killed. Oh, wow. Smooth, Stu. Remember, Fallen was in the opposite corner. You saw the T's pre fire it, and then of course he's on the other side. So slight change up works out in his favor. And despite Fallen falling to attacker, he is now desperate to even get this bomb plant. He's got a man up close to deal with in the form of Fur. He could prioritize the plant in terms of getting cash, but it's a fake plant instead. He's looking for kills. And UP presence from MIBR. So as we hit that eighth round, and things not getting stale just yet, they also try to aggress inside of the apps. Nice kill on to Fur from Attacker. He knows there's a second one there, but the Molotov clearly indicating the retreat, and Tarek will find his safety for free. Absolutely love here having a Flash Gaming look for their opening pick quickly and um, working in, in, a, in a giant group to just force, force feed a frag into their hands. I love how MIBR's offense can be just so suffocating in the sense that they get these, all these aggressive setups right out of the gate. And then in a moment's notice, everybody's just retreat and fallen back into a much more passive situation. It's like the, the difference in setup, the stark contrast, is just really nice to see. It shows you depth in their preparations, but nothing can prepare you for a couple of shots like that. Freeman not going down without a fight. Oh my god, he's got the third. It all comes down to young Stu, who's barreling up from middle. He's got no utility, no kit, just an M4 in hand, and an opponent with 58 HP. <gasps> yep, still flash goes out, misses the mark, and he calls Stewie it out. Hits. The man slips by. We've got a little bit of an entry fragger coming in. So King tries his best, but then just dies completely alone, sectioned off from the rest of the team. Freeman will respond with a bit of a kill towards middle, so still the A-site defense in question, but it seems to str hold strong. We've got three CTs all around it, and then of course, as said, that one man from behind. It's not Stu this time, he's dead. It's Fallen waiting for his chance to potentially strike, but seeing as he's an opper, he could also just hold this off. There's two ops still standing, one of which committed to the back of the site, and remember, a man advantage for Flash looks great just now. Toying with the cross, and that's where the first man drops. Cold Zera misses his second shot, and he knows these targets are all upon him, but he's all alone, and still he gets that kill? So sick. The 2v1, it's not going to be easy. No, definitely not, but he should predict that position. So now it's a matter of figuring out the last, and he's got the utility for it. This is going to land directly in front of Summer. May not spread to his feet, but he's still going to change position. Now he's on the column, fallen, trying to snub him out, trying to sniff him out, and still he holds it cold. And yet, he nearly dies regardless. One bullet's all it takes. Fallen's got the clutch. Oh, it's kind of disconcerting. Whoa, Bert feels that so he's pushed into the open. Stu nearly actually just goes past him. But in this instance, it is finally Flash Gaming. Stu here still being very aggressive to hold on to these frags, and it's actually two players. And Lovey is, is there to try to take both of them down by himself. Oh, man. Freeman gives up his back. Cold Zero will take it with ease. They will be unrelenting with their trades, and it's really on Flash to make sure their spacing is impeccable. Yeah, which, unfortunately, in this round, I think was quite poor. But it's not over yet. They can still come in with some headshots at the end of the day. Coltera falls. So now Attacker's got a very real chance at coming in off of the balcony, but there is a smoke in play for the CT side, and it's going to be in front of the bomb. Oh no, Attacker's got them dead to rights. Finds them both by surprise at a second round for Flash. Fortified on the A side with banana control that allows them to do that, and also against 
ability to punish these SMGs, and Flash Gaming really don't like it when they lose one kill. Flash are still in towards middle and the bottom of the mana. So they continue to fall one by one. Looks like MIBR might get back on the horse in a solid state, because all five CTs currently survive. Lovey looks to cut down the numbers, but all he'll deal is damage. Death not on the menu just yet. Bomb spotted, still clear for the taking. And getting a kill onto Fur is nice. Now, if you can hit the headshot to the pit, that's going to get it that much closer. Comfort rule. And uh, that's a good kill. A smoke will actually help him out quite a bit. Fall back now. They can take all the top hit, but they can't get into the arch, can't get into the bracket. Not a lot they can do here. Besides getting melted. Impromptu boost. They do it on the fly. Remember, there was a player underneath, but by putting him up over the smoke, you see how it comes into fruition. Two kills, and again, what seems to be the clean sweep. 10 3 with five CTs surviving. A head boost is icing on the cake. They're definitely having fun with this. And yeah. <laughs> you can see. And oh, he's, I think he was trying to shoot the man on the back, but Stu is the collateral damage. Yeah, walks right into it. Now, Fallen goes up and above. All right, I like it. Smoke inside of the bomb site. That's going to give them a bit to work with once they're inside of it. And, of course, Summer has nothing really to hide except for the fact that he can retreat into construction. Now, the support is very quickly upon him, and despite that, he is still cleared by Tarek. 2 HP makes the difference here. And because of that smoke grenade, they have the entirety of the site in that shroud of secrecy. The bomb point comes through. Fallen trying to trade here as it's the man advantage in the hands of Flash. What's the after plan? Fallen on bomb. And a man back by new boxes. CTs clear out corners. They've lost Zoking as he comes barreling forward all alone. Now the CTs have to worry about being split because sure enough, they've got them dead to rights. Clean, crisp headshots. Upside down. Back gammon here in Hong Kong. Ay -ay, they're walking right into these pistols. Maybe a little overzealous. They could be on damage control. Remember, they have such an advantage with these Kalashnikovs. Zoking close line by Fallen. And Tarek, who's well, got a wind as to what's up, sees the shoulder, chases the kill. Summer falls. Very clean with the clear. And Fallen here has, that, has actually got the bomb in the cubby in the 2v1 and has decided to stay patient and await a rotate. Tarek's calling. You want to plant? No. That's not going to work out. It's actually not only drop bomb, but an AK in the hands of attacker. It is a lot of it is universal. Unless you're playing a CIS team where callouts are numbers, Mohan. But who Quadrants. knows what they're up to? Yes. <laughs> I don't. Four v four here. We got a couple kills. Zoking so able to equalize after Summer was the first casualty in this one, and he actually gets himself another despite only having a dozen points of health. So, on a very rare occasion, we see them with one man up, but it wasn't for very long. Zoking still just trying to roam around the side of A-Site, ends up costing himself his life, and then his teammate falls quite quickly thereafter. What does that result in? A completely open bomb site with two CTs on the opposite side of the map. Time is gonna be the biggest of issues, not to mention the fact that they have no information whatsoever. So in the last few dying seconds, you're just gonna see desperation sink in and bullets as well. Last two players about to be cleared. Fallen finds that final.